get to a command prompt. Oops. Okay, so ping 192.168.3.1, which goes all the way across the trunk link and over to the VLAN, and we got a reply there. So I just want to show you the early replies. We've got the trunk link configured between the two switches. Uh, if you're using Packet Tracer, by the way, make sure you drag a crossover cable. It's a bit daft because you'd obviously do it with a live kit. But between the two devices here, we configured uh, Fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 and 0 slash 24. Switch port mode trunk will turn it into a trunking interface. For Fast Ethernet 0 slash 6, we did switch port access VLAN 3. And we created VLAN 3 on the switch. You must remember to create VLAN 3. So, create VLAN. Uh, the command to create the VLAN is uh, just VLAN and then space and then you type the number 3. You, then, you can then type the command name and then the name. Um, to configure the trunk link, switch port mode trunk. So I like to keep it nice and simple. There's other subtle commands that you can configure, but we don't need to worry about this for the purposes of this lecture. Okay, make sure that the device down here is in the same subnet as the, the other devices in VLAN, the VLAN. Okay, so if we go back to where we were, we've done configuration on one switch and we've done VLANs on multiple switches. So we've come to the end of this uh, lecture. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in another lecture, no doubt.